New into stock, we have a Kia Sorento 2.2 CRDI KX2 4x4. It's the all-wheel drive version. It's a five-door 2012 on the 62 plate. Has seven seats and also satellite navigation. 38,816 miles and the fuel economy figures. 38.2 urban, 56.5 extra urban and combined is 47.9. 0-60 time of 9.4 seconds and a top speed of 118 miles an hour out of a 194 brake horsepower engine. Six months road tax, £107.25, 12 months is £195. Um, we've just MOT'd it, uh, so it's actually not, uh, won't be due for another MOT until the 25th of the 10th, 2019. It's just been serviced as well, so nothing to do to it. Uh, it's a really, really nice, tidy car. We've got uh, the roof bars, it's uh, five spoke alloy wheels, this sill protector, stone guard, and also plastic wheel arch protector too. Rear privacy glass. Plenty of load space with the back seats down or the, the six and seven seats down, but it's so easy to lift them up. Handle there pull up that's it same here seats up and the uh, the headrest put them down again pull the loop that's it simple as that and you've also got the rear seat belts in the back here when the seats are down there's a, a rear roller blind to fit a, a, a load cover tow bar, reversing sensors, it's also got a reversing camera as well, rear wash wipe, integrated tailgate spoiler and uh, the privacy glass in the back window too. Plenty of room in the back, uh, enough room for three people and also the back seats, oh, there's a third row of seats and uh, they fold down to leave you a flat loading space or just pull up. It's probably, um, or they are probably the easiest deployable rear seats I've ever seen. They just one handle pull up, one handle, they go down. A lot better than having to come in the back seats, fold the seats down, flip the seat squab up and then the backrest. So it's a really well thought out car. Nice and comfortable, two cup holders here. We've got parcel nets at the back of the seats. The, the seats are kind of hollowed out, so it gives you extra leg room. And uh, I'd be comfortable in the front seat there and, and I'd be comfortable in the back. Plenty of headroom. The headrests, of course, uh, they all fold down like so. So work for children and adults too. Good thick rubber mats on the floor here as well, protected the carpet. It's uh, back seats don't look like they've been sat in. There's big bottle holders in the side door pockets. Um, the wood nicely finished off here and brushed aluminium door handles. Two keys for it, two remotes. I'll just take you for a ride in it. As you can see, it's got one of those stupid <laughs> volume controls that the faster you turn it, the slower it actually goes to turn down. Um, plenty of room in the car. Main point, seven seater, it's got sat nav has a reversing camera there and also uh, sensors to, to beep. Service history, proper service book, which is uh, always good to see. Let me see, those are the body inspections, I think. Yes, they are. So we've got five services. First one, 10th of the 12th, 2013, 11,129 at Furrows Limited Kia. Then the 13th to the 12th, 2014, 
at 15646 uh, Fox Holly's Garage. 20th of 10th, 2015, 19697. Fortunately, they've managed to get the stamp right there because we couldn't read that stamp. Uh, so it's the same garage. That's uh, 19697, 20th of the 10th, 2015, at Carr and Griffiths, Kia. And then 24th of 9th, 2016, 2000, no, 2017, 32,744 miles, again at Corran Griffiths, that's at uh, Ches Chester, I think, yeah. Then we've, we've just serviced it and MOT'd it, so it's been done on the 12th of 10th, 2018, at 38,816 30, Northwest Autocare. They're the ones that look after us in Preston, and if you're local, um, we've been dealing with them for 20 years, never let us down yet, so that's a, a good advert for them. Now then, Never let it be said that <laughs> Kia aren't thorough with their instructions. So you've got that that's thicker than the yellow pages. And then another one in here that's uh, nearly as thick. My advice to you would be to take those two out, uh, leave them at home in a drawer and you'll probably get about another five or six miles to the gallon out of the vehicle. Right. I'll just take you for a ride in it now. Check a couple of things that I should do while I'm stood still before we set off. And there we go, height and reach adjustable steering wheel. Power folding door mirrors. What, what are the chances of that happening um, when you're making a video? <laughs> Anyway, right, okay. So we'll go back to menu. Sorry, we'll go back to nav and then stop guidance. And uh, I'll just take you for a ride in this now. So, most important thing today we've got heated seats, height and reach adjustable steering wheel, it's multifunction. Car's finished in silver. We've got perforated leather upholstery, and then this kind of probably wood effect, although it could be real wood. You never know. So it's like, it's like a, a dark, well, very dark wood effect. It's uh, quite a nice finish, actually. I've got to say, we've got front central armrest here, plenty of room in there. Cup holders here, six-speed gearbox. The heater is extraordinarily good. Just turn that down and the display there is on the uh, nav screen in the, the top right hand corner and that's passengers turn right the way up. Great driving position, nice comfortable suspension. Absorbs the bumps and it is all wheel drive. I can't see any selectors, so it's uh, it must be intelligent all-wheel drive. And just comes in when you need it. Nice easy gear shift. Climate control here. Pretty quiet, I think the only thing I can hear really is the fan. So, uh, on the right hand side here, you've got your dormer switches. So, the right one works. The left one's working great too, and you've already seen the how folding mirrors work. Indicators and lights on the left and wipers on the right. It's been a long day and it's, uh, it's only 20 to 12. It's 
somebody teaching a learner how not to drive there. Quite a turn of speed for a big car, and it is a big car. It uh, kind of looks like, um, well, to me, it appears to be bigger than a Freelander and probably about the size of an M class or something, but uh, I could be wrong. We've got uh, seat height adjuster there. As I said before, the, the, the rear seats, the six and seven seats, um, very, very easy to put up. The, the, the best I've, I've seen really. Some of them are really difficult. You have to try and lean in to pull the lever up and uh, unless you're six foot hard, you, you can't do it without kneeling in the back of the car or kneeling inside the car. This, you just get hold of the big loop, pull it, seat comes up. Great design. It's a, a Kia Sorento. Sorento is spelt with one R. Um, I assume that meant something in Korean, so trying to be clever, I googled it and put it in the uh, translation to see what it means. Um, and all it means is that uh, the Koreans can't spell Sorento. They've missed an R out. It uh, doesn't know what to do in the UK today. It's one minute's raining, one minute's sunny. I'm just off to do the exterior photographs of this car and uh, you can see what the weather's like. So it could be uh, an unproductive day. Wipers are working fine. See if we've got any water in the bottle. Yes, we have. The rear wiper switch there is on the back, and we've got water in the rear bottle too, unless they share the same bottle. So Bluetooth hands-free, audio streaming, CD radio, anything else we've got here that um, I can't see. Yeah. The seat uh, that must be assisted. It's very easy to do. Two power sockets, or that might that might. Yeah, it's got a cigarette lighter on the left hand side and a power socket on the right. So two of you can charge your phones at the same time. An auxiliary in and also USB. Nothing in there. The heated seats work uh, really well. well. There's a diff lock on the right hand side here. Uh, your anti-lock brakes and something to knock your beepers off for your reversing sensors. That tells you your information on your whereabouts from your sat nav. Should you need to give some one more precise directions than just the road. Cruise control on the right here, and also your voice control. Let's uh, change channels, your radio controls there, your audio controls, volume. And also wave band. Try and get up to 70. So, six gear, 70 miles an hour, cruise on, set. So, cruise switch is there, set, you knock down to the minus, 
but then you can adjust your speed by clicking up to increase and down to decrease. We're doing 2,000 revs, 70 miles an hour in sixth gear. Just not really uh, cruise off there. Your instrument display, rev counter left, in the center speedo with your little information panel, your odometer and so on. Outside temperature, what else? How far to uh, you can go before you need to fill up? And then top right hand side, coolant temperature and bottom right is fuel gauge. Nice car, well put together, very comfortable. And I'd probably buy one just because Sorrento is my favourite place in the world. Even with one R. Check the electric windows. Yep, all the windows work. So just from there you can see the uh, ignition lock there, wipers, lights and indicators, cruise control, and let's see what we've got there. That changes your display down there, your information display. So you can uh, move that. Very light clutch. assume that from media you will be able to uh, navigate between USB there, auxiliary in and also Bluetooth as options. like a big armchair. Can't wait two seconds. Could have probably bounced off him.
got um, the thick fitted rubber mats all round. I think they've probably been in from new so the carpet's all nice and clean underneath. <laughs> 